Now, some people have mentioned I don't eat my food on camera. Good reason for that. I don't really eat food. I tend to inhale it, which is a spectacle to see, I'm sure. But it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not something I'm quite that keen on doing. But what I will do is show you what this looks like from a cross section like that. Check it out. Now that's what you call a Sunday sandwich. James Kitto's honey, rosemary and pork sausages with Cornish Meadows mustard. Uh, that's the um, honey Cornish mustard, Cornish mustard with honey in it and some cheese on top. That's only half of it. It's only a little bit. This is the way forward. This is what you want to make yourself on a Sunday afternoon. Okay, so today I'm at the Cornish Winter Fair, which is the Royal Cornwall Showground. You see it's very busy around here. It's going to be good. At the Cornish Winter Fair. Busy, busy, busy. Um, my mate James Kitto's over there in his van. Let's go have a look. As I said before, James is uh, does a lot of the local produce. Been going since 1880. And two packs of sausages for five quid. Sounds good. Let's have a look at this beautiful stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. As I said in the other video, locally produced meat. Absolutely delicious. And here's the man himself, Mr. Kiddo. Cracking. Cracking. That's what you want to do, put a crack, uh, hashtag cracking and everything. Look at that, look at that meat. Delicious. And over here, we've got a few more bits. It does sausages, all sorts. And what you've got here is Cornish Meadow Preserves. It's real taste cool. And you've got amazing, delicious, look at these. Look at that, it's absolutely amazing. Red onion, marmalade, Thai jelly, key plum. Beautiful, and they've got these lovely mustards over here. Run fuel biker, Spingo. Spingo is a lovely drink, about 6.9. And all this. Now that is what you call a parsnip. Look at those. These carrots. Look at the size of them. Absolutely huge. And over here, beetroots get bigger and bigger. Sprouts. So is those. What we've got here is a rather amazing looking carrot. Check that out. Another Cornish producer, Haywood Farm Cider. It's a Mabin. Look at that, it's lovely. What they've got here is a suggestion of they do mold ciders, they do normal size and apple juice as well. Lovely. Brilliant. I don't know if you can see this, there's some seriously giant cookies here as well. Lovely big cookies. Look at those, ginormous. What we've also got is another stall called Cornish Duck, which is locally produced duck products. Um, they're all raised locally and beautiful quality produce. Looks really, really nice. It's Cornish Duck. I mean, just have a look at these Swedes and turnips. Absolutely out of this world. Well, I don't know about you, but looking at things like this makes you really, really hungry. Really, really hungry. Look at that. All those lovely sponges. Now, here I am, perhaps the most important part, the pasties. But they're, they're not quite as big as my six kilo monster. These do look like little handsome pasties, though. Look at them. Lovely little tiddlers. Little tiddlers, they are. Have a look at my um, giant pasty video and uh, see what you think. But these look delicious, just a little bit small. Okay, I've just got myself back from Cornwall Winter Fair and I've been to see my mate James Kitto, butcher. Some amazing sausages there. Pork, honey and rosemary. They look absolutely delicious. And some lovely pork chops. Amazing. Also, while I was there, I picked up some of this uh, Cornish honey mustard by Cornish Meadow Preserves. So, so good. It's really, really tasty. Uh, it's made locally and it's got a good bit of heat to it. Delicious. Um, you can taste the honey in it, it's really, really nice. Good morning, it's Sunday morning, it's uh, British Cook here. I'm wearing a nice big warm red hoodie, keep me nice and warm. Um, I'm feeling a little bit rough, so what I'm going to be doing is making myself a um, butty with some sausages and some, some mustard stuff like that. What we've got here is some bread, 
Uh, I've got a bread making recipe on uh, one of the links if you want to have a quick look at that, it'll be up at the end. Um, just chuck some cheese in there, this is some cheesy bread, so 100 grams of cheese or something in there. What I'm going to be doing is chucking a bit of butter on there, just going to butter it up, get a good bit of butter on there. Um, actually, I've got a butter making recipe as well, so if you're interested in either of those, have a look at the end of the video, there'll be links to them uh, at the end of the video. Um, so we've got the bread there, I'm going to get my sausages on, I'm going to have some lovely sausages. Sausages, mustards, it's going to be really good. I'll show you in a second. These delicious sausages that I got at the Cornish Winter Fair yesterday from James Kitto. These ones are pork, honey and rosemary. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to get them on and uh, have a bit of breakfast. So what better to go with some Cornish sausages than some Cornish honey mustard. This is from Cornish Meadow Preserves. I tried this yesterday at the fair. It's fair to say it's amazing. Um, you try it. And you bite into it, it's a whole grain mustard, you think, this, this is quite tasty, it's not a lot of heat, and then it blows you away. It's almost like a small wasabi here, it's lovely, it's not as hot as wasabi, but it's really, really good, and it's got so much flavour. Um, if you use a combination of different mustard seeds in there, some mustard powder, Cornish honey, and a few other bits. As I said, it's got quite a good kick to it, but still you want to get plenty of it on there. Wake you up in the morning on a Sunday, lovely. Good bit of tasty mustard on there, game on. Something that I love is cheese. And um, as you might know from other videos, I've just melted that cheese um, on top of the mustard. And uh, it's going to be really, really nice. Look at that. Mustard and cheese just been bubbling away there. Awesome. You know, I love it when you cook a sausage, it goes lovely and crispy, but these have got bigger. I'm absolutely certain they've got bigger underneath the grill. Now these are what you call sausages. Now, how does that look to you for a Sunday sausage sandwich? Absolutely lovely. Stack full of sausages on top of that melted cheese, on the cheesy bread, with that delicious mustard underneath from Cornish Meadow Preserves, and sausages I said from James Kitto. Lovely.